Welcome back to our Global iTech Solution Kids Playwright channel on lecture 16. Before you started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related with this course. Talk less, do more. Let's get started and jump on the topics. So today we'll be discussing about setup GitHub Actions. So basically, once you execute your test, it's populate or it, it is generating a report. That report in, a, in your machine it is it, it is hosted on a on a local environment local host but will be deploying to the server so it will be up and running all the times so the problem um, is we are having once we have the report let's say if i run so this is the existing test suite as you know we are i keep on building day by day right if i running my test from here npm run test so this basically execute all the test 46 test and it will populate or it will generate a report in a local host environment as an LA report in a dashboard let's go ahead and see it it is um, what or how it is look like I'm a little bit you know like result oriented base um, oriented person not like as a talking person so we'll be seeing in a moment all the results it is on the local host or in a server server side basically so local host having a problem with let's say if I generate a report in a local host it is going to be impossible to share with some other person right because if you send that link to someone else, they will not able to generate the report. So let's go ahead and run that report. Let's see what it, what it is running it. So this is our post test. npm run post test. This is supposed to be generating our LA report. So this is the problem you see the 46 test one one of them it's failing and this is the url of the uh, the server url it's a local host right now if i copy and paste somewhere else for visibility take a look so 192.168.1.16 this is our results url now if i send that link to some other person like as a team members or the project managers or to your you know like the another colleagues so when you execute or you terminate this from your visual studio code basically that report is gone now if you refresh it the report is gone you're not able to find that report anymore so now in order to finding finding out this report and you know like keep on um live on the server so we will be deploying this report to the github page so it will be live forever lifetime so let's go ahead and see how do we do that now the last time we push our code to this repo playwright automation suite now in this playwright automation suite we'll i'll be customizing as a github actions so in the github actions i'll be create a workflow that workflow it will um, build our uh, build our suite and then it will deploy to the github page how do we do that so let's go ahead into the code so this is our code now in this code on the on the left hand side under the project playwright automation suite i'll be adding the folder called dot github and under the github will be add a, another folder called workflow so i already created i'm going to be just move that folder in that project so let's see let's move and move the report into the project so this is the dot github folder under the dot github folder there is a workflows and i added a script uh, the the .yml file um, that called a playwright earlier results .yml 
inside this file um, I defined uh, over here as a based on each push anybody trying to push to the master branch or main branch in our github so this job this build will start running so this build will start running on the Ubuntu latest so this is the Unix Linux machine and it will be starting use as the action which is a v3 and it will download the node versions and set up the node versions as the way we are setting up in our local machine install node set up node then um, npm uh, ci npm run build if present if not it will not run then we are running the npm test which is the npm run test as we are executing the script over here on the on the terminal right then we'll be getting the earlier history and we'll deploying on uh, creating a github page and on that github page we'll be basically calling that la report from that folder la report folder and we'll get the earlier results generate from the la report we'll, so as as i generated last times so in the in the local terminal we'll be generating the LA results from the LA report and we'll keep the history on it every time it will run this script or a, any execution it will generate the LA results and it will keep on storing the history in the github page now at lastly we'll be deploying the report to the github page that so what what we are going to be deploying we'll be deploying the earlier history into the github page not the earlier results so every time it will run it will execute the results then it will make it as a history then we'll call that history into the github page then we'll see the live version of it let's go ahead and see now we'll be adding this dot git dot github so git add git commit hyphen m uh, Earlier, earlier report edit. Then git push. Now after this push, come back to our Playwright automation suite. Click on. You see all the way top. You will see the so GitHub action has started running by the number, right? Commit number. So now. If you clicked on the action, you will be seeing over here playwright earlier report, earlier report added. So based on the edge push, it will execute that command from the .yml file and it will perform the actions based, based on the script. If you clicked on that, you will be seeing as a build. If you clicked on the build, you will be seeing what are this, those steps performing. Set up job, runs using Node.js then run the npm test then it will execute all of our test cases which is 46 test cases then it will generate an history and get the history of it Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 44 mm -hmm. 45 46 so now it's getting the history of it then it is, it is deploying the report into the server now all the steps are passed now if you click on the build again go back and it will deploy to the github page now so page build and deploy so which means it is built that already now it is deploying part it will be deploying our result to the github page let's wait for a couple of seconds let's click on page build and deployment so we can see the in in real time so it is building now it is deploying so it is deploying to the url so this is the url generated now if you clicked on the url you will be seeing all 44 or 46 test cases now this url it can you can be it can be shareable right you can share to anybody and it will be hosted all the time in a server with the github page server 
So if you search, if you you know like give it to anybody, they will be able to see it. Now if you come back to that, the our GitHub. So this is our GitHub. This is not a GitHub. This is the report. Now if you come back to the GitHub, this is our GitHub. Now this link will be available in the GitHub itself. Once you go to the repo, so we'll be copying that the link over here. So let's go back on the actions, get the link from here. Let's copy the link and come back to our original repo and add it over here as a link, website link. Now playwright and you can use topics like playwright playwright javascript so this is a playwright javascript playwright javascript playwrights then la report la report then github action oops earlier report github actions get get her page pages then also deploy deploy to deploy to GitHub please I just create another tag save change boom now you can just click on it also in the meantime let me show you one of the two settings you have to set which is you have to come down on the under the um, actions and click on general you have to change just read and write permission workflow permission and also settings you have to go to the page you you need to select github page instead of main branch or master branch make sure uh, these two things are uh, completed that's it thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for upcoming lecture for the rest of the course thank you